לעילוי נשמת דניאל בן איזה ולרפואת אח, מה השם שלך? גלעד בן אחר, בן אחר. So we're talking now about the, uh, we're going to share something from the Abu Raham related to Shabbat. We know that on Shabbat, the halakha is right after you complete reading from the Sefer Torah, we take out uh, the Maftir, we read from the Maftir. So number one, ask the Abu Raham, uh, how many verses should we read from the Maftir? Why is it called Maftir? And what can we learn from the text of the, of the bracha that we recite before and after the Maftir? So he says, we read 21 verses because uh, the, um, the Aftara, first of all, has to have some sort of connection in the theme that, it, that we are learning or reading about from the Aftara, from, we read from the prophets. It has to have some sort of connection to what we had in the parasha itself. So for example, if in the parasha we, we read about the birth of maybe a child of one of the patriarchs or matriarchs, we're gonna read about the birth of someone in the Maftir. If we read about uh, the salvation or the victory uh, of one of uh, our, the bearers of our nation, we'll see that also in the Maftir and so on and so forth. But we read 21 verses because there are seven people that go up to the Torah, Shiva Olim that go up to the Torah, and three verses from the Tanakh corresponding to each one to each ole, to each person, individual that goes up to the Torah, that's why we at least normally have at least 21 verses in the uh, Haftarah, that w- with the exclusion of maybe Shabbat Shuvah, uh, that over there we have a little bit of less than 21, but it's a short Pshara, you don't have to read more than that. Why do we call it Haftarah, says the Abu Raham? Number one, because uh, when, we, when a person, when we are reading the Torah in the Bit Knesset, we are not, other people in the synagogue are not allowed to speak. The Shulchan Aruch says that we should even not um, study uh, or recite Tehillim or do other things while uh, the Torah is being read. So now that that has finished, now that that has finished, we uh, we are able to we are able to now maybe speak again, and therefore we read the haftarah. Uh, that's why it's called laftir, like we're over with the, the jurisdiction of that halacha. Another reason why it's called haftarah, from just like in the in the sense of the uh, haggadah and of tirin achar pesach afikoman, meaning to say we have finished, we are, we have we are not patur exempt, but we have finished from the reading of the sefer Torah. Says the Abu Raham. The bracha of the Aftarah, Baruch Atah Hashem, Elokeinu Echonam, Asher Bachar Ben Vim Tovim, that God has chosen in good Nevi'im and good prophets. What well, is a prophet that's not good? Of course, good prophet, but this comes to allude that the prophets in Amisrael are Nevi'im Tovim, were, first of all, Asher Bachar, that God not only chose us, chose to give us the Torah, but He also chose our prophets. Our prophets are not, you know, people that chose to be leaders or forced or dictated themselves onto the people. They were chosen by God, and everybody was there to witness the miraculous uh, uh, event that when they were chosen and, and that also comes to testify the um, validity of their prophecy. So uh, that is Asher Bacha bin Vim Tovim. And then also, and it's also connected to the Torah where we say in the Torah, Bracha Asher Bacha Banu Mikol Amim. So just like God chose us, chose the Torah, He also chose the Navim. This comes to display the authenticity of not only the Torah, but also the words of the Nevi'im and the words of the Chachamim. Wishing everyone a beautiful Shabbat. We read about the victory of Yaakov over Esav. Amen. Shabbat Shalom.